happened in Canada? Well, I figured our drug needed a bit of a test drive. And what if it didn't? What do you mean, sir? We here at the Parasol Company <laughs> take great pride in the products that we create. Now tell me, Sappy, what is rule number one? To not talk about Parasol Company. And rule number two? To not talk about Parasol Company. And rule number three? To not start a zombie apocalypse trying to test our drug to create everlasting life without the unfortunate cannibalistic side effects? Exactly. So that in mind, I've created my own drug. A drug that I've used to make myself immortal. And I will use it to create a vast army of immortals. I've used your drug as the base. Except, I've added one key ingredient to it. You care to know what it is? What's sir? I used black tea! Black tea? The antigen to my virus, you used that to create your own? And I shall call it the T-Virus. <laughs> <laughs> but sir, that's not even clever! Clever or not, that means that you are fire. Sir, so wait! Fire! 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 Gertrude, prepare my four o'clock Sleepy time tea. <laughs> Congratulations, you passed the exam. Your official top. Thanks, Dick. Couldn't have done it without you. Look at where we are.
evening, Canada, and I suppose the world. Today, we're here to celebrate the death of a great man. At first glance, all you saw was an average guy, but beneath that guy was a man willing to do anything for anyone. He had some of the worst luck I had ever seen, but did that stop him? No. He lost his wife, he lost his daughter, and then saved my life. He took that bullet from robot zombie Mecha Hitler that allowed me to save us all. So I don't want any credit. Without Bobby, none of us would be here today. I want us to take into account what happened. Our ragtag group of people stood up against an apocalypse and stopped it. Now just think what we as a nation could do if we banded together. If there was ever a time camp, now is it. Come on, together, I know we can do it.